Westfield, New Jersey. Hi. Hi. So we are live, podcast number 82, Alana said. Yeah, number 82 today. Yeah, and um, I'm here because I had to do something in the store. I had to meet with a rep. I'm usually not here on Fridays, but I'll be here next Friday. Ronnie's children are graduating college, <laughs> so um, she has a busy weekend next week, and I'll be here with Alana. Yeah. <laughs> we'll order lunch. We'll hang out. Um, but hi, everyone. So if you want to ask us any questions, you can go on and ask a question because we're live, right? Yes. And um, you, oh, what is that? Well, that's the, the oh, chat. The chat. Oh, the yeah. Chat. Oh, okay. So um, anyway, we have yarn stock behind us. Yeah. There's a good, see this up here, that pink? That pink is my favorite cubby in the whole store. So that is the Moon Drake. Good. Look how you can do that, Alana. You can yeah. like hold it under your hand. Um, right? There she goes. What Alana's holding right. up. This right? This <laughs> cubby right there. <laughs> Just take um, it. <laughs> that's the new Merino Sport. Th Italian Merino Sport, 350 yards. She got it from Italy. That's why it's called Italian Sport. Yeah. I never really well, asked her. No, but it's but Italian wool. It. It's made from <gasps> Italian sheep. Sheep, that's Yeah, why. it's Italian Merino. Mm -hmm. right? Um I'm knitting with it right now. I'm making a t-shirt. So it's a test knit mm -hmm. from uh, This Bird Knits. When is that going to be? I don't be know when it's released, week? but it's due on Thursday. Okay. So, uh, and I'm going to be done because oh, I'm almost so pretty. done. Really pretty. I just pretty. have to that do the color. tip of the sleeve mm -hmm. and the bottom ribbing. I'm almost it's there. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Thanks. I love it. Um, I knit this one. And I wanted something similar, mm -hmm. so in a bright color. Yeah, so then, and that was a, a summer tea she did a couple of years ago. I yes, think, right? Kaisa, K-A-I-S-A. K -K okay. Someone said working? hello from Oregon. Oh, you see that. Okay, hello. Hi. Hi, <laughs> Oregon. Um, what am I doing? I am knitting my Liebling wow. plump sweater. I'm on the ribbing. On the ribbing. I love the colors. I know. So um, it, it is all. Well, you have a skein up there, right? I think, no, that's not Here, it. Here, let's hold right. it close so they can really see. Mm -hmm. That's unicorn. Look how it just starts striping. And I don't know. We have some plump left. So if you want to call the store in the unicorn color, we have maybe this is going to be like five or six skeins because I'm making long sleeves. If I'm making this, I'm not wearing that short sleeve sweater. Do you have a ball of it I could yeah. hold up? Mm -hmm. Hi from Southwest Idaho. Hi. KJ Russell. This is the yarn. It's Plump by Spin Cycle. And it's their new chunky weight. And it's dyed in our color, Unicorn. Mm -hmm. This is, I'm on a 10 needle. So it is really going fast. And if you need something mindless, this is mindless. It's just mindless. And fun. I'm sure mm -hmm. you just want to get to yeah, the next stripe. Right. So I'm on the ribbing now, which is fine. Last night I switched out needles. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, for the, the ribbing. smaller needle. Yeah, to a uh, nine. Because the body's done on a ten, and I did the ribbing on a nine. Mm -hmm. And then I just have the sleeves. I am going to do long sleeves. So, um, good. It'll be warm. Right? So, yeah, nice and cozy. Yeah, and so that's what I'm knit knitting. Um, what else am I knitting? I Oh, and then another test knit I'm getting into, um, Caitlin Hunter, that new one. She has it up on Ravelry, I think, and she posted this week in her stories with the Moon Drake. I swatched yesterday with the new Moon Drake. Are you using the Pika Pika? Is mm -hmm. that the one? Yes, the Pika Pika. Yeah, and that one is 60% merino, 20% silk, mm -hmm. and 20% ramy. Yeah. So that's I want to a, grab a, a summer yarn. Let me, let me grab one. Hi from OKC. Karen, your sweater looks great. Toby Watkins. Oh, hi, Toby. Hi, Toby. Hello. <laughs> Is this the color you're using? No. Or what color are no, you I doing? No, I'm doing a color that, a navy, navy. Navy. I think I probably took the last three navy. Okay. And I'm using unicorn with that. And it's a summer nice. tea also. It's got all this color work here. It's used spin cycle here. And then there's lace on the sleeve. Like a lace. Yeah. So um, I swatched yesterday because I wanted to see how this was to knit with, and this is amazing. It but is really nice to knit with. You're, you're enjoying knitting yes. with it? Mm -hmm. So it my swatch nice. came out good. Drapey? And, yes. Mm -hmm. So I, I, it was really nice and soft in your hands to knit with. So this is the Pika Pika. This color is periwinkle, which is really pretty. Yeah. You know? Um, this will look good with unicorn, too. Totally. Just totally. Yeah. Oh, look at that with the blue. 
Yeah, I would choose really a dark good. skein of unicorn mm -hmm. to go with it. You now I'm thinking I'm gonna change in colors. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not changing colors. Um, so I'm like, okay, I'll just do that. And that's what I'm using now. Um, but I usually don't buy a lot of summer yarns. Hi um, from North Carolina. Wow, hi. we have like the whole U.S. represented. Hi, hi <laughs> Hello. Um, I usually don't buy summer yarns. Like I remember once I bought. Um, Modern Cotton by Barocco. Oh. Couldn't sell a skein of it. Um, I couldn't sell it. Like, I've had 100% linen, like Quince & Co. Uh -huh. Had that other brand. Linen, couldn't sell it. So we don't carry, you know, I don't carry cotton here. Yeah. Merino so, linen. Mm -hmm. or like Merino maybe... linen or a blend like that. Yeah. I do have to find out. I am getting, I think, over 100 skeins by Uncommon Thread her Merino linen. Oh, is it a one-ply? I think so. Yeah, so I'm supposed to get that. I'm going to message her. Maybe it should be almost ready. So she said like four to six weeks, so maybe. That'll be nice for the tea that you're test knitting also. Yes, yes, and that'll be good. And then we're also getting ready to kick off our summer knit along, which we haven't done in like so many years. Oh, I wasn't sure if that was a secret. No, we can talk about it. Oh, because okay. Because everything's been sent to, I think, Allison, who does all the stuff, to like the printer or whatever, and... We're doing um, a Caitlin Hunter knit along for the summer. Um, it'll start June 23rd, I think is the first day of summer. There'll be prizes, you know, um, gift cards from the store. I think it's 100, 75, 25, something like that. I don't even remember. Um, and you can knit any Caitlin Hunter sweater, scarf, shawl, hat. You could keep re-entering. Oh. Have, we're gonna have a hashtag. I'm trying to play with the hashtag. Um, post it on Instagram, you have to buy the yarn for me in order to be in the contest, which is basically normal. Like for any contest you're gonna, you know, be doing um, that we that we represent for the store. So the yarn has to be bought from us. We'll put it also in the Ravelry group. Yeah. We always do. And um, yeah, I mean, there's, and then Dory and I were talking this week, cause Dory's, you know, it's pretty quiet in the summer, right? And we were talking, maybe Dory might do something like um, a camaraderie knit along of that. You know, like a class with Dory, maybe a few sessions with Dory to get you started on your, on your, whatever you want to knit. Whether mm. it's your shawl, whether it's your sweater. And we might do something like that. Like on a big, Zoom or mm -hmm, in person? Like oh. a big group Zoom or something. That's a nice like idea. Like a class with Dory for like three weeks or something. You know, to get you started. And it wouldn't be like every week. It maybe it would meet like every few weeks or something, maybe three or four classes. I like that um, idea. And you'd, yes, you'd have to pay for the class. It's not free because then Dory will help you with what you're knitting. Right. Which I think is also great, you know. Um, and that, you know, and then usually a Rhinebeck sweater comes out usually in August or something. Right? Okay. Yeah. And then Dory usually does a class for that to get people ready for their, you know. Yeah. So this might be a fun, you know, a fun thing, you know. So Dory was going to look into it. Who's on? That's a good idea. Knit right? along kickoff with Dory sounds great. Right. Doesn't that sound good? Oh, wait. Who was that? Joy. Joy. Hi, Joy. <laughs> Joy shopped the other day. Yay. <laughs> you had a question earlier. Yeah. What is the softest, most favorite sport weight in the store? Sport weight? What you, soft? Softest, I think it's this this yes. that I'm knitting with, the sport weight, this, the these, Italian this sport. Mirror, you, yeah. I'm going to grab some. Yeah, okay. But it is it is gorgeous. We have so many colors. We have three cubbies of it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. I would love to go to Rhinebeck. Yeah, you should, if you can. Mm -hmm. well, this is very soft. It's 100% superwash two-ply merino. It's like butter. It's butter. <laughs> it's, it's butter. This it's is butter. sand. Mm -hmm. This one is mint. Okay. And then this one is a neutral around here. Hot pink. pink. I love that cubby. My favorite. Yeah, that came out of the pink cubby right over look here. But look at Carolyn's <laughs> sweater, which we were laughing at because we put it here. But this is in the Todd DK. She brought it when um, for our yarn crawl two weeks ago when Sarah... D Demon? 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 Yeah. Thing? And from Lamb and Kit. So that's, we don't even have these colors. But we were saying, well, we have it in we sport. Have in sport. <laughs> you might be able to change your gauge. Yeah. We do have it in sport because I'm looking at that hot orange up there. 
So we do have it in sport. Joy said her shipment might, is coming today. She's waiting for her shipment today. Yay! So that's yeah, good. Yeah, you order it Wednesday, right? Mm -hmm. Another really nice soft sport that's been really popular mm -hmm. is the Tibetan Cloud from Mayak. Oh, that's this pretty This blooms too. so nicely when you knit with it. Mm -hmm. And we have some custom patterns for us from the Wool Walk. Mm -hmm. um, we have the Thistle Thorn Board. collection right. from Lavanya. Yeah. And we have the Glowfly that's coming out. Which is being very interesting, right? Yeah, the end from of Olga. Month, I, think? I think so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So, friends are testing it, which mm -hmm. is nice. And you mm -hmm. can use it with um, Spin Cycle, that's what she and did. it's beautiful. She used this color blue and the um, unicorn Yeah, Yeah, and Lavanya used the black, which I think we're sold we're out, out of, of but black. you can use the navy or you mm -hmm. can use any color. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a dark black shawl. Yeah, and those are behind us here. The colors oh, are down yeah, here. I like that green one down there, mm -hmm. and there's some over so behind this guy. This way. <laughs> this is the DK. I don't know. Yeah, here's I'm like your thinking, tour. wait, like, now I got to figure it, because fingering starts when you walk in. This DK should be where the sport is, and the sport should be where the DK is. Oh, like if you're going in order? What do you think? Right? Yeah, we could do maybe. that could today it if it's not busy, maybe, Whatever. right? We could. I don't know, guys, but we've got really great kits up. I feel we? like it would be faster just to move the whole cabinet. Okay, we can because we're not nailed to the wall. <laughs> but then they might fall out of the back. They would fall out of the back. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll use the basket. <laughs> We'll do it quick. But um, anyway, we have really great kits up kits today. Kits today. Kits. Um, if you saw something during the week that you want, you could just call us. Right? Oh my God. So this is the new Tweedy Tweedy Stripes, stripes Wrap mm -hmm. by Beata, who owns Hedgehog Fibers. But she used two colors of Tweedy. But we said why. It's just DK. So I added the Hedgehog Tweedy because I thought if there were great flex you know, with the regular DK Hedgehog, right? Going through that, that you can pop it. You can pop it. And this is a free pattern on Hedgehog Fiber's website. She gives you all her patterns for free. It's generous, right? Yeah, like they're really, they that's them. really nice though, to yeah. have on your needles, right? Yeah, oh, totally. Totally. I love how squishy it mm -hmm. looks, and yeah. it's like really wraps Here, around. Look, I'll show you more pictures. That's a big wrap. Yeah, it is. See? That's why it's, I was like, why do you need four skeins? But it is long, it's wrapped. Well, and it's funny because right. when I saw it first, it just looks beige. Mm -hmm. And then if you really zoom in, I don't know if it shows, it's striped. Mm -hmm. she used so the it's barley, not beige, barley it's, color. it's barley and what is it, lullaby? Mm -hmm. It's two colors. No, there's a yellow in it, a new color that we don't even have that she wasn't offering for home sale. Well, that's cool, but right. we have. Yeah, but we have <laughs> we this. We have these. So why not? And, right. and and there's nine more. We there's have nine more. Kits today. So if you look on Instagram, you'll see all the kits. But this is really cool. Yeah, it's really fun. Something else to have on your needles. Yeah. You know what? Winter will be here before we say it. Like it just comes up on, and then you don't have like a scarf or a shawl right. that you want on. Right. right. You could knit this over the summer at the beach, yeah. and then in the in the fall mm -hmm. you'll have something to wear. Something to wear on but that yeah. first cold day. The barley color, but you can do that uh, a neon yellow that we have up there if you wanted to. It has like a yellow. Trying to see, right yeah. there. You could pop a mohair right. in there even. You can do whatever even, you want. Or mm -hmm. some surrey, make right. it even softer. Yeah, and then another kit which caught our eye yesterday um, was the Wisp Vest by Caitlin Hunter. She had so many testers. Like there were over 50, 60 testers. Um, and she used um, the surrey by Farmer's Daughter, right? And we have so much surrey in the store. We're like, let's just go for it. Um, we have Birdie, we have the Moondrake Surrey. Um, we have such fun colors, you know, here, of course, always. And um, we just saw another customer, not a customer of ours, but somebody in New Hampshire, she striped her vest for the winter. Like, look at this. She made, that's the same pattern, but she striped it. She was mm -hmm. a tester. So, this is Chickadee on Instagram, Chickadee underscore D underscore D. So look what so I we did. We made stripey ones. Do you want for a stripey you? ones? We made stripey ones, and some of them we're using fua fua with the cashmere in it for a winter vest. Like why not? Do and a then, cashmere one. And even if you have like she used mohairs that she had left over and just doubled them. But we have all the different kits up for you, and um, this is a great. This is like a chocolate brown, and I tried to copy it a little, right? So you made a, a like yeah, a. I just like grab like a chocolate brown um, fua, right, and then pop it with like fun colors. Yeah. Or if you want to use mohairs, we have all the kits up on Instagram, 
And I really think this is a great, uh, this probably goes fast. You know, she said weaving in the stripes was a little, you know, oh. at the end. You know, because yeah. I, I read her Ravelry page. but And she tells you how many rows she did of each color. Oh, so go to her project page mm -hmm. on Ravelry. Yeah, and she told you how many stripes she made. Really cute. Really cute, Love right? It. Doesn't it look totally different? Yes. This is like a fall staple item, right? With jeans instead mm -hmm. of a sweater. And you know how fast that's going to go? It will go fast. Oh, yeah, especially with the stripes because you want to get to the next stripe, mm -hmm. you know. Right. That helps it move a little and faster. If you wanted to even use a spin cycle to stripe it, you could. Oh, that's a nice idea. You know, you can use a dyed-in-the-wool, right? You can take this and you can go pick some dyed-in-the-wool at the spin cycle wall. And then it'll stripe itself. And you can stripe itself automatically, right? There's another idea, Ronnie. Ronnie's like, uh-huh. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ronnie has two daughters, and herself, of course, and they love all the different sweaters. But Ronnie goes, my daughters would love this vest, yeah. right? Yeah. Probably, honestly, out of one of these kits, you could get two. Because there's three if you're not striping it. Right. So mm -hmm. you can probably make two vests yeah. if you're striping probably. it. Probably. Yeah. But they told you to hold this double, so that's why I don't, you know. That makes sense. Yeah. But um, why not? Like, just we have all the knits you want here, right, Alana? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I think since the last time we podcasted, we have some big news that we now have a website that you can shop from. It's shop.doyouknit.com. Shopify, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and you could get through it on our link in our bio and on mm -hmm. Instagram. You can get to it from doyouknit.com, mm -hmm. and uh, we pop up different kits there all the time yeah it's always different so yeah i put the inclinations up this morning like i got them ready yesterday but look at the inclinations and then by putting the video or that picture of yep. that somebody just we were here and bought it we heard cha-ching go off yep. so we have all these are up um maybe i'll pop something up for the weekend if there's a kit you'd be interested in that you want me to pop up let me know um you can always message me i can always pop some kits up you know? Yeah. Um, there's Unicorn quick. up there if you just unicorn want some Unicorn is spin up cycle. there. There's some. Um, the Tweety, Tweety is up there. So you can make your right. own kit. You if can you make want. your own kit, right? The From Tweety there. is up there. So if you only want to use all Tweety for that shawl, you can do two and two and buy four skeins of the different Tweety is up there. Mm -hmm. You know? Um, there's I, some sock kits up yeah, there. Yeah. And I didn't put this up because it's on the wall. Yeah. You know? So if. You know, you can just do whatever you want. So you can still call us. Mm -hmm. We would still love to talk to you. Yeah, we But do. if you would rather just do it in the middle of the night on your computer, you could do that too now. Mm -hmm. Just they had a big order from England. Wow. Yeah, we ship all over the world. Unicorn. Is there anywhere we don't ship to? I haven't had a problem yet. So okay. I'm not really sure. You just have you to know. pay shipping, if, yeah. you know, depending I don't know on if where we, you are. There was things blocked. I don't know. Oh, like, right. Don't know. You wouldn't know because then it just know. wouldn't right. go through. If it won't go through, then I don't know. Yeah. You know. And so. keep an eye on this weekend mm -hmm. on the shop. Yeah, because I'm trying to think tomorrow. I'm saying, Rani, what should I make tomorrow? Maybe some Mother's make? Day goodies. Yeah, maybe. We'll have to think about that. Like, I, I know. Did. I like shopping on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like brunch and shopping. <laughs> brunch and shopping. So are they taking you shopping for Mother's Day? Just brunch. brunch. It's going to be uh, online shopping. <laughs> online shopping. Yeah. So we could, um, you know, tell me if you'd be interested in something. I could make those kits and pop them up tomorrow. Yeah. What kits mm -hmm. should we put? Yeah, I don't know. Give us some ideas. Give us some ideas. And then, we and then there's books even on the yeah, website. Yeah, I have the Lovey and Amy books up. I think the 52 Weeks of Socks we look at. Nice. We sold out of the Lina magazine. That's completely gone. Um... So I'm not getting that again. We have so. neons and neutrals, neutrals in the store. There. Right. It's up mm -hmm. there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Then we also have some new yarn. We didn't even show that worsted, oh. which is beautiful because Carolyn, I'll grab some. in the neons and neutrals, there's a sweater by Brianne Moody, this cardigan, which is done in worsted weight yarn. Um, I'm going to grab the book, the neons and neutrals. I think there's one behind me. I'll grab it. And a great cardigan. It uses two colors. So... I'm going to find it. It's, I think it's called Brienne, but let me see. Let me see. I don't remember. Yep, one, page 164. Now, when we were sitting here for the yarn crawl on that rainy day, look. Oh, it uses that's so worsted fun. weight yarn. It's got pockets, Alana. I see the pockets. Alana's my pocket girl. You could put your hand right in there. And this is a new yarn wool cut. Um, Origin. Origins, right? The company's called Walcott. And um, the owner is a yarn story in 
in Bath. I'll say Bath like that. Oh, Bath. And look at this gorgeous worsted we got it. And the colors are great. And now um, I noticed, because we also have an account with Julie Asseline, like she got the Tuca wool that we were able to get. She's now wholesaling this. So I don't have to go through Bath. To get it, I can get it from her. Very squishy. Very and squishy. Two hundred and ten yards, I think. Yes. We have like eighteen colors, but we did sell a lot during the yarn crawl. It's fifty percent Argentinian merino mm -hmm. and fifty percent fine Highland wool, and then it says a hundred percent free spirited. Mm -hmm. So cute. So this 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 cardigan comes short or longer right here, and you only need two colors. The one is like hmm. hold it up. Yeah. Look how cool. So if you look closer, there's also stripes. See, look. See where my fingernail is? There's stripes of the other color in Let's her sleeve. see if there's another picture. Yeah. If you want this book, you can call us. It is up on the website, but if you want to, you know, get it here, you can give us a call. And if you want a kit, we could do a virtual shop with you. We do mm -hmm. it on FaceTime, and then right. we ship all over the world. That's, this is beautiful. Look at this blue. It's a purple. The blue mm. is good. I would do that cardigan in one of these and like a spin cycle and just Ooh, play with the play colors with and color. let the colors be fun. Yeah, the dream state is perfect for it. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I would do. So good, Alana has all these, look at that. That's fun. Right? Oh, Brienne Moody wrote, uh, the name of the sweater's called Brienne. So go look on Ravelry, but the patterns aren't available only in this book. But- um, For now. Yeah. For now, yeah. usually a year, I think. Sometimes yeah, like the, the patterns from 52 Weeks of Easy Knits, now they're releasing mm -hmm. them for our right. individual patterns. Mm -hmm. And um, a new book is coming. What's her name? Petra? Um, Paula. 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 Paula Pereira. Pereira. Yeah, she's, she's so I think nice. Is she from Spain? I don't know. I don't know. Good her. morning from Alaska. Hi. Hi from Alaska. I met Paula and she came up and she introduced herself to Where me. Did you and she meet said, her? Well, I met her at Mayak actually when oh, they were having an event. When they used to do their their pop ups. Yeah. In the city. And she's so sweet. She came over and said hi. And she said she followed me on Instagram. So then I followed her back. I didn't realize. And she has beautiful designs. She has a new book coming out and she reached out to me. She's going to be book signing. Well, she'll be at Rhinebeck. So she reached out to tell me she was going to be at Rhinebeck yesterday and she wants to come to the store. So we booked her for the store. This is far in advance, but I'm telling you now, October 28th, that's Saturday after Rhinebeck. And I'll get more books because her books do come out in June. Oh, June. Okay. Yeah, like June 3rd or something. And we do, we did order. Oh, June books. 3rd. But um, we will get more and she wants to show you her designs and come to the store. There's one cardigan in that book that I saw in the sneak peek that I'm dying to make. And oh. I bought the yarn for it last week. Here. Oh, what yarn? And I'm, I it? got Bisha Bush worsted mm. um, in the white. And then Ooh. it's so beautiful. It's two colors and it has like this really beautiful design. design. And it's just, it's almost like this shape. Like uh -huh. it just has a big collar and just a nice cardigan. Mm -hmm. So we ordered like that a book. Coat. I think it comes out June 3rd. So it might be shipping in a week or something. Okay, so that gives um, me time to So she to asked if it. she can come to the store. She's dying to meet me. Me? Why me? I'm dying to meet her. That's but so um, that'll be fun. And I'm trying to get, like, we'll put this out there too. We can promote it a little, you know, just to say, because we're looking for an indie dyer that Saturday. Oh, good. That so. can come. That would want to meet her and bring their yarn and showcase their yarn here. Yeah. And we can trunk show. And she'll be here with her garment. That's It'd be a good so idea. nice. Yeah. So, because we always do trunk shows in the fall, and we can start advertising once the summer hits. Right. You know, um, I know. What tape are the girls? They want to come. Oh, we're going to kick off fall with um, Loop and Moral again. Oh, yay. They're so nice. They're I love so them. They're so nice. So they're going to do kick off fall with us. Good. So we have to figure out what, like, what date is that, and they're going to come and dye like a fall palette. They had a great time. They have beautiful yarns. I know Shador wants to come back. Nice. She's got beautiful yarns, Yes, too. yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll just like put that out there if you're an indie dyer and you want to come that Saturday, um, October 28th. It's so nice. Like... Yeah, she'll spend the whole day with us. That'll be sign. fun. It'll be really nice. Yeah. yeah, and a lot of people might still be in town because of Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. Some people make right. a they whole week out of it. They stay and they're traveling. They might come. Yeah. Because maybe they'll be here that whole week or something. Yeah, yeah. So um, she wanted to come before, but I said I won't be, you know, I won't be here Thursday on and right. it might be hard and it's just better Saturday because people are home on Saturday, you know? Yeah. And they're not working and if they want to come into something like our trunk shows and stuff. So um, that would be nice. Yeah, get some more yarns. We'll have to see her design. 
You need some test, uh, you need some sample knitters. <laughs> Who's a sample knitter and watching me? I will try to come to Jersey that weekend. Great, yeah. we'd love to see you. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, sample knitters. Maybe I should get somebody to knit some samples for me. There are sample knitters. Mm -hmm. I have to look. Start looking. Yeah. The book comes out, maybe. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh -huh. I know one of the sweaters she did. Is that with a yoke or something? Some yarn company, Shepherd, something. Shepherd. I don't know. I don't know. I just look looking at the pictures. The, the so preview beautiful. is gorgeous. I think her, her daughter modeled beautiful. some of the. The oh, daughter's the model. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. wow. Some of the photos, I think she said. That's sweet. So that's going to be a nice book. Whole family activity. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with you and the children? You have a big event coming up. Yes, my son's bar mitzvah, oh, and we tough. moved home. Mm -hmm. So I have a lot of work left at the house and a lot of work to do for the bar mitzvah. So I'm crazy until June 3rd. And then okay. I have to plan my middle son's birthday party. And when's his birthday? June 17th. Oh, right out, right before school ends. Right? Yeah, so we're gonna do it the last week of school, his mm -hmm. birthday, and then they go to camp. So, and you just have Lena home. And the then I'll just have sleeping. Lena. Oh, uh -huh. my mom said I would love to sample knit for you. Really? <laughs> okay. Cheryl. <laughs> I got you, Cheryl. Yeah. Give That's Cheryl nice. the yarn. Okay, she'll do uh -huh. it. <laughs> we'll have to discuss. <laughs> discuss. <laughs> discuss. <laughs> that would be awesome. That would be really good. Yeah. Okay. And I could be the mule bringing the yarn and the bringing <laughs> it back and the forth. The yarn mule. The yarn mule. Oh, my God. She said yes in all caps. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Good. Yay, Cheryl. <laughs> Nothing new is going on with me. I just, like, had crazy going on all week. Like, yeah. Like, tooth, dermatologist, just other medical. Like, I'm fine. Yeah. The eyeball, the little bubble on the eyeball, oh, yeah. that's gone. Yeah, now it's all behind you. It it's seems all like. behind It's me. like a new start. Wait, so this is something I told Ronnie before. So Elle was on the phone. So what happened Wednesday night? Wednesday? Tuesday night? I don't even know what day it is. Tuesday night. Tuesday? Yeah. It's Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah. My filling, I thought it was a cap, fell out of my tooth. Right, because I went Wednesday afternoon to the dentist, right? I don't even know, just fell out of my head. I'm like, what the hell is happening to me? 65 is like downhill. Um, so I went to the dentist Wednesday at like three o'clock and he says, well, you know, you can come back and I can put a temp and I went, he says, or you can stay. I go, let me stay. I've had a bad week. I'll just stay on my phone, relax in this nice chair, give me my Novocaine. He made the whole cap or whatever crown or whatever there. I just relaxed for an hour. That's it was good. all good. So L calls yesterday. Well, Marissa's on the phone. She, uh, Marissa calls in the morning driving L to school, like if they're waiting online, you know, to drop off or whatever. So L says, Mimi, did the tooth fairy come? Aww. Your tooth fell out. Mommy told me your tooth fell out. I went, no, well, maybe we should tell Papa. Mimi needs a present. She goes, Chanel? <laughs> That's my girl. She knows everything. That's my girl. I said, oh, we have to tell Pop-Up we should go to Chanel because Mimi's tooth fell out and Pop-Up didn't buy her anything. Mm. <laughs> so I think we have to, like, tell Pop-Up to buy Mimi a present. Yeah, the tooth fairy. The tooth, the tooth fairy. fairy. So Elle thought the tooth fairy was coming. Yeah. So sweet. It's mm -hmm. really cute. And what did Pop-Up do? She wanted to know if Pop-Up did anything. No Pop-Up did. Mm. So anyway, <laughs> that was it. Do you have any questions you want to ask us? Anything about knitting, anything about the store, anything, anything. Yeah, type them in the chat. <laughs> type them in the chat and ask us something. It's just really quiet. Let's say we were really busy and now it's like, okay, quiet. Yeah, everybody comes all at once or calls all at once, I feel like. It's mm -hmm. just like the bus shows up. Right, the bus shows up. <laughs> but I'm like, we don't even have to go live because we showed stuff. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have to, so that's it. Um, <laughs> I'm just waiting for tests to drop so I can get into them. That's what we're waiting for. We're like this, on edge. Yeah. On edge, Rhinebeck testing. So um, there is another test that, Rhinebeck test that I'm in. It's a little, I have to finish my yoke. So um, that's color work. And um, that's about it. I don't have any yarn coming. I do have some stuff here. You know, yarns are coming. Um, Black Elephant. Oh, yeah. So I think Sport. she's finishing up that order. The colors, did you see I kept posting them? Yeah, beautiful palette. I think I... I think 150. I don't even know what I order. You know what happens to me? I message, I email back and forth. I was like, how many did I order? 
I just see when I get the invoice. Oh, that's so much more. Okay. There we go. See? <laughs> and Ronnie's here to answer the phone. <laughs> so if you don't... Oh, question? What? It's a plant. What or... is Raimi? Is it a plant or animal it's a plant. fiber? It's a plant fiber. We looked it up. Is that cellulose? Yes, yeah, cellulose. We looked it up. It's like linen. Like a linen. Like a linen. Mm -hmm. So we looked that up. And it is a plant. So, um, yeah. I don't know. I guess that's it. It's a really nice base, you know, because we've had the merino linens. But I am getting a merino linen. Somebody else. What is the average amount of time you get to complete a test knit? Depends. Depends. Uh, for a sweater, they like to give a couple months, usually. Like six to eight weeks. But for my t-shirt, I don't think it's two months. I think it's probably six weeks. You know, like, it The depends. only thing that was rushed was the Traveler hoodie polo. It was rushed? Four weeks. Oh. I went, I'm not making that hoodie. That's why I made the smaller size. It all worked out. I love that sweater. If you want to make the Traveler, buy any of this sport weight yarn. It is amazing. It is amazing, the sport weight for the Traveler, and I, this Italian Merino, oh, I'm holding up the wrong one, the Italian Merino. Yeah, this one. Yeah, the Italian Merino. Um, if you don't want to do the hoodie, you don't have to. We had four weeks to do the test, and I was knitting every night. I knit at night. Um, I don't knit in the morning. I knit on my day off. I try not to schedule, because we're closed Sunday and Monday. I'm like, oh God, I hope I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> And then you just, just like what? watch a show and you knit. I binge. Mm -hmm. I could binge. I like when it's cold out and I'm test knitting. Like I could stay in the house. Yeah. Um, I sit in my office usually because Fred takes the TV in the family room and I have a TV in my office. So. Thank you. Received my yarn for the Traveler yesterday. Yay! Oh, yeah. Toby. Nice. Toby. Yeah. Toby's busy. Toby's a nurse. A surgical nurse, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, and wait, the funniest thing, let's say Toby. Okay, Toby I never met until Rhinebeck. We're at Woolen Folk. We pull up in the car. Now, Tara drove my car, because I have a big car, you know. Somebody opens the door next to me, I get out, and she goes, <laughs> What are the odds that you're in this huge parking lot and you're talking next to somebody that knows you that way, like, and you're like, oh my God, you're Toby? Like, I love because that. we talk on the phone. And we message, and that was so funny. She went, ah! So sweet. That's it was nice. so nice. Right? I love when people find us or say hi to us. Because mm -hmm. it's like, what are the odds yeah. of, like, in that whole parking lot? Like, a really good, like, your customer. Yeah. And, like, you never met before, but you talk on the phone. I love that. Yeah. So it was really, really nice, and now I met her. <laughs> now she messages me. So sweet. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, um. I don't know if you don't have any more questions, then that's it. Ronnie's on the phone. Somebody call. Yeah, and so I guess we'll go. We'll go. We'll order lunch. I'm mm -hmm. staying here. Fred's going out for lunch. I'm just hanging. Maybe okay. we'll get Tom. Yeah. Me, Tom my the salad. Greengrocer. My favorite salad. I got to meet Alana on the hill at Rhinebeck, too. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Oh, I know. It was so nice. Like, I met I Pam it. on the hill. Yeah. Right? Yeah, I love so meeting nice. our friends. It's, it's so, so fun. It's nice just meeting everybody. Yeah. It's really good. So that's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for that Rhinebeck sweater. Yeah, it's we're coming. We're on edge. Coming. We hear it's coming. We're on edge. Yeah. <laughs> I am on route. Refresh, 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 refresh. I keep refreshing. So, anyway. Alrighty. Um, we hope you have a nice weekend. Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Happy Day. Happy and a healthy Mother's Day. And enjoy the day with your family. Or don't be with your family and do what you want. It's your day. Yeah. Just don't do anything. Get a massage. Mm -hmm. Or knit. just don't do anything. Just don't do, yeah. Just Watch do TV. Anything. Go out to eat. Don't cook. Don't lift a plate. Don't mm -hmm. lift a finger. Or Unless you have knitting. young kids, then don't go out to eat. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> I'm going to Marissa's for brunch. Nice. With my mom and Robbie's parents. And, At yeah, their it'll house? Be nice. Yeah. yeah it'll be nice. Be and I said, what can I bring? And nobody answered me. So, so. I know it's bagels and cream cheese and stuff. Happy, Happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day to you, too. Thank you. So I like to make that... Um, Blintz or souffle. Oh, I love that. Oh, you want one? I'll bring one. Yes, yeah. It's like a cheesecake <laughs> yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah, but it's the blintz is in it with sour cream and eggs, and you just bake it. My aunt makes love it. She it. puts a little orange juice. You can put, put orange juice. juice. You can put a little bit of sugar in it. I love, I love that. It. I love Blintzes. that, too. I got to make that. Uh -huh. I want that for Mother's Day. Okay. I'm going to make one. <laughs> it's great for dessert, or you can just eat it for lunch. I love that. Do you And you buy the blintzes, right? I buy the frozen the blintzes, frozen, yeah. and then the recipe. It's just type in blintz. Blintz of souffle. Yeah. I'll put the blueberry ones in, the cheese, right? 
They're potato pointers, yeah. And it's a Shavuot recipe because of dairy, the, the Jewish holiday uh -huh. Shavuot. Yeah. I always think of it for that. I but love it. Yeah, I Mother's Day, it's perfect. Breakfast, I usually make it right. with bagels and cream cheese. So right. I said to Robbie, do you want it? So I'll just text him because I go food shopping Sunday morning very early. Mm -hmm. I can get my blintzes, get all my ingredients, and make it. Peggy, have a great weekend and happy Mother's Day. Same you to too, you. thanks. Have a great weekend. Enjoy. All right. I wonder how the weather's going to be Sunday. I don't even oh, know, but it's okay. We'll look it up. No, we'll look it up. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Enjoy your day. Thank you, everyone, for watching Thank you. us. We really appreciate you. Bye. Thanks.